Hi, welcome back to Sharon's Hop Tips. Now, if you know me, you'll know I'm Sharon from Vivid Days. Thank you for all your support. If you don't know me, pop over to my channel. You might enjoy my art or some of my processes or some of my knowledge. Now, I'm on a learning journey when it comes to resin art. I am an artist that works in all media, but I have become passionate about resin art and mixing it together. But I'm Sharon, I'm digressing. This is Sharon's Hot Tip. What I want to talk to you about, if you're a new person to resin or an existing one, think safety first. Regardless of what the manufacturers may say, I do recommend you follow their instructions. But remember, resin is a chemical. When you apply heat or anything like that, it is gonna cause some chemicals and different people will have different reactions and some people it will build up over time. So always, always, always think about your lungs, your brain, um, fire risks, anything like that. So ensure you do follow manufacturer's instructions. However, always be in a well-ventilated area Behind me, you can see something else I use, which is going to be in another hot tip. So windows open, doors open, ensure there's a good workflow and forget about fashion. Now, let's put on our masks. Now, for my videos, I obviously don't speak through this um, because you wouldn't be able to hear me for my tutorials. So I take a calculated risk. So my partner went and researched and bought me the best mask for me. Filters that need changing, make sure that you work, got the right one for what you're working in, whether it's with any kind of fluid art or anything that involves chemical, whether it's spray paint, resin, alcohol inks, definitely take this into consideration. Now there is a big difference between a dust mask and a face mask. Now the dust masks are very good and I would still recommend you use one of these when you're adding pigments. <laughs> that one snapped. <laughs> now, this is not gonna protect you from resin fumes. However, if you are mixing up just the powder and you want to stop any being inhaled, because you will see there's fine particles all over there, this is ideal for this. But this is the way to go. Now, you may find that there's ones with um, a closed in face area and take that into consideration. I wear glasses, so that protects my eyes, but I would always think glasses or safety glasses, respirator, double gloves, ventilated area. And if you've not been over to my girl pan, Monica Barnes uh, art, pop over there. She shows you a reason why you should have your fire extinguishers near you when working with a resin or anything that involves a blowtorch. Anyway. I think that's enough of me digressing. I just want to say, definitely take it into consideration. Do your research. Think about how you're protecting your skin, your lungs, your eyes, your hands, your brain, anything like that. Follow manufacturing instructions, but anybody that says that there is no chemicals or it's chemical free, I would question that and think about your life and your future. Anyway, I'll get from my soapbox. I will. I'll see you on the next hot tips. I hope you found this useful. I hope you found it informative. Remember, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. And you get to see a little bit about my art space. It's a very small, messy room. Got multiple projects on the go, but I'll see you on the next video.